been working for TetraTech for over 26 years on projects all around the world focused on marine and coastal management. My first project was in 1996. I was the program manager for the Coastal Resource Management Project and one of our very first marine and coastal projects in the region. That's where TetraTech started looking at how can we improve the management of fisheries and coral reefs in the Philippines while protecting the marine biodiversity but also helping to preserve the livelihoods and food security of the people that depend on it. It's been 20 years now and we are recognized as being leaders in this arena, in this field of coastal resource management. It really grew throughout the region, starting with this one project. After the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, TetraTech was hired by USAID to help develop an end-to-end -end tsunami warning system program. Our part was the last mile, where the warning system reached communities, and we worked to identify some of the good practices in building resilient communities to address tsunamis and other coastal hazards that could affect them. The work we did also gave us a lot of insights on how to start supporting the work of countries and communities in adapting to climate change, so whether it's storms or sea level rise, inundation, and flooding in areas. And when we couldn't really say climate change in the United States, we were able to support countries in the Coral Triangle to develop their regional action plan for climate adaptation. And the Coral Triangle region is something equivalent really to the marine version of a rainforest. It has some of the highest, the highest marine biodiversity in the world. It covers an immense area of six million square miles. And there are multiple countries that are in this triangle. So we've been able to help some of these countries through the Coral Triangle Initiative. The U.S. Coral Triangle Initiative was a multi-agency effort to support the region's interest in improving coral reef management and fisheries management for food security. TetraTech's role was to provide expertise in climate change adaptation. We've been very successful in, in taking one project and building and expanding to other parts of the Coral Triangle and Pacific Asia region because we take the lessons that we've learned in one project and then we take them to the next one and improve on them and apply them in another project. One of the other important success factors is that we have built staff throughout the region and they've become now the program managers of this new work that we keep winning. Most people think we just export our technical expertise, but in fact, all the lessons and innovations in fisheries management, marine protected area management, climate change adaptation, we've learned from our work internationally and then we can bring these home and do a lot of innovative work in our own country. And we brought this back to the United States in Hawaii, helping the state develop its sea level rise vulnerability assessment and adaptation plan. I think that with all that we've learned over these years in helping many communities manage their fisheries and coastal resources. We have the tools, we have the experience, the expertise to solve many of the problems that are confronting us today.